I'm here to bring you a brand new series called Home Decor for the Poor. If you're anything like me, then you definitely love the beautiful extravagant things to make your home, whether it's an apartment, your bedroom, your house, wherever it is you're decorating, you love those little touches that make it look so much more extravagant and beautiful, but you just don't have the money for that. Um, everybody can't go out and buy all these luxurious things. They cost uh, $30 for a pillow, $100 for this, that, and the other. So what I've been doing is working on how to decorate my home in a way that is really affordable. So today's video will actually be about those accent pillows. You can get beautiful, beautiful accent pillows for your home um, at basically a little bit of nothing. Um, I already have some pillows here. So as you can see, I love the gold. So like this pillow, it was the one pillow um, for $7.99, I think. And I'll link everything below. But this pillow is a beautiful gold pillow sham with this beautiful decorative kind of layering on it. And you would think it costs a lot more money than what it did, but that pillow is $7.99. And then this gorgeous beast right here is um, it's a set of two with this beautiful gold kind of overlaid flower design on it for um i think it was 14 dollars. so essentially these pillows are like seven dollars a pop and the thing that makes them so much cheaper than the pillows you see at the store is that it is not stuff so when you get it it is a pillowcase but i was like you know buying the pillowcase is much cheaper than buying the stuffed pillow but i'm not about to be paying you know all this money for pillow inserts inserts are like six or seven dollars too sometimes they're ten dollars depending on where you're getting from i get all of my things from amazon so it's a little bit cheaper but that really adds up if you have multiple pillows. So what I did instead of buying inserts is I did something a little bit different, which was I stuffed my own pillows. So um, all of these pillowcases, they come with zippers. And so I think that's really handy. And it only works if it is a pillowcase with a zipper. Um, if it is just like an enclosed space, you won't be able to do it. But you can just stuff your pillow. So I have here some stuffing i got this stuffing at michael's for like five dollars and i think it is 20 ounces of stuffing which can stuff like two or three pillows but this is not my preferred brand um my suggestion for you guys to do the home decor is to get the polyfill brand i got this big five pound box from joanne's fabric because it was on clearance it was 50 percent off so i believe it's like a 20 dollar box for ten dollars and then i had a 20 percent off coupon so now we're at eight dollars for the five pounds and joanne fabrics always has polyfill on sale that is the brand i recommend for stuffing um any brand you get is pretty good but i like the way the polyfill feels it doesn't feel like um as rough and it doesn't clump up it makes a really soft pillow so what i'm going to bring to you now is i'm going to stuff a pillow to show you how you do it um, and I actually have some nifty home decor for you to check out that I'm going to stuff. So what I have here is a bag of pillowcases. Um, I don't know if you guys have been following the trend. That was pretty loud, huh? I don't know if you guys have been following the trend, but the mermaid pillowcases, it's the pillowcases with the sequins where you rub them and they change colors, are like so in right now. So this is what it looks like. And I have a bag of them here. So I got four for $17. So that is really a steal. Each pillow is like $4. Well, $4 and some change, which is a really good price for these pillows because now I have two for me, one for my niece and one for my sister. So shout out to Amazon for the deals. Um, and so what I do, and I'll stuff this pillow with this Michaels filling, even though it's not my preference, but I pay for it. And like I said, this is home decor for the poor. So we don't waste stuff we didn't bought. So the first thing you want to do is find the side with the zipper. And the way these pillowcases are made is the zipper is usually pretty much on seam and concealed. It's a really flat zipper. So you open it up and this is your opening. It's a pretty big opening to stuff the pillow. And the great thing about stuffing the pillow yourself versus mine, a pre-stuffed pillow which costs more or insert is you can make it as flat or as big as you want. So you take your stuffing. You take out a handful of stuffing and what you do is pull it apart. You pull it apart so that it's not already clumped together when it's inside of your pillowcase. So that's why you only take small sections so that it'll be more evenly spread once it's completely filled. So once you pull it apart to your heart's content, 
you literally just throw it in there like it's a little bag and so that's all I'm gonna do is just pull the stuff in apart and throw it in there so I will continue to stuff but stop talking Alright, so once you've got your pillow pretty well stuffed, um, as you see the pillow is not even right now and the stuffing is sticking out. I like my pillows pretty stuffed. I like them like to be fluffy but not too fluffy. So how you smooth it out is first thing first, you're going to make sure you push everything down so that it doesn't get caught in the zipper. So you want some space between the stuffing and the zipper. That way, if you ever decide to restuff it or add additional stuffing, you won't have a problem unzipping it. And don't worry about your pillow being uneven when you do this step because you're going to fix it. So you've already pulled apart that stuffing, like I said earlier, which is very important. So now what you're going to do is press into your pillow and kind of just rub it in to spread it out. And you can shake it if you want. You can beat it. You can do whatever you want to flatten it out and to spread it out. That's why it's so important to break it apart. So now we have a fully stuffed pillow, which is not lumpy. That was the one thing that my mom, she was like, if you stuff it yourself, it's going to be so lumpy. But with these polyfill fibers or pillow stuffing fibers, they're really nice and really good. And so now I have a great piece that I can put on the couch, put on my bed, and I can play with these sequins all day. So this was the very first episode of Home Decor for the Poor. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you more content for cheap home decor finds that I have found. Um, and if you have any questions about how to stuff it, where to buy the stuff it, just drop it below in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for the next episode of Home Decor for the Poor.